Hi everyone, Hermano here and welcome to the channel again. This is the second video in the series where I install Nextcloud on Ubuntu server. If you have missed the first part, just click on the card above and you will be guided on how to install the OS on VirtualBox. So let's begin with the second part, that is to install Nextcloud. If you recall in our previous video, we formatted two disks for this installation and we created mount points in the fstab file. Now the next step would be actually to merge those two mount points so that to Nextcloud it would appear like at one place. And to do this, we need to install a small package. So let's do that first. We'll do this by typing in sudo apt-get install and the package name is mhddfs and hit enter. So let's create a directory. Uh, I'll type in here sudo mkdir. We'll create it under the mounts directory and I'll give the name full data so that it's easy to recognize. There you go. Now we are ready to edit again the fstab file. So let's do this by typing in sudo nano etsy fstab and hit enter. Now you may recall here we have our two disks with the two mount points already listed. We need to merge them together. So how do we do this? Well, we do this by typing in this line mhddfs hashtag and then the first mount point without space slash mount slash data one comma the second mount point slash mount slash data two a space and then where do we want to merge these two disks we want to merge them in the directory we just created so that will be slash mount slash full data and we want to merge these two disks so i'll type in here fuse as an option for the next option, I'll type in allow other, which means even you're not a root user, you can use this location, comma, non-empty, and I'll complete the string here with the two zeros, which means we are not checking the file system as we have already the two mount points checked at every boot. Then I hit control O and enter to save the file and control X to exit the editor. Now let's mount this new location by typing in sudo mount-a and there you go. In order to use Nextcloud, we need to also install the LAMP stack, the Apache web server, the MySQL database and PHP. Otherwise, Nextcloud won't work. So let's install those first. We'll type in first for PHP, we'll type in sudo apt-get install. I put in a dash y so that I just accept the packages without a prompting. The packages are php, php-gd, php-curl, php-zip, php-xml, and php-mbstring. And when we are done, we'll hit enter and the packages are going to be installed directly. It's gonna take a few seconds here. And there you go, so I clean up the terminal. Next, we are going to install Apache 2, our web server. So we'll do this by typing in sudo, apt get install. Again, I put a dash y here to accept anyway the packages and the packages are Apache 2. And the second package is lib apache2 dash mod dash php and when you're ready just hit enter and there you go i'll clean up the terminal and the last package we need to install now is the mysql database so we'll do this by typing in sudo apt get install again i put a dash y and the package name is mysql dash server and an extra package which we need to install is also php dash mysql and we already hit enter and there you go the installation is done so we can clean up the terminal now let's download nextcloud so i will switch temporarily to the temp directory by typing in cd tmp as this is where i want to download nextcloud 
and I'll clean up the terminal. So now we can download Nextcloud and we'll do this by typing in wget https slash slash download dot nextcloud dot com slash server slash releases slash latest dot zip and when you're ready just hit enter and there you go let's have a look if nextcloud is downloaded by typing in ls latest zip is there perfect so let's clean up the terminal now i just will install here a small package which is called unzip which makes it easier to unzip the file we just downloaded. So let's do this by typing in sudo apt get install unzip. And there you go, I'll clean up the terminal. So before we unzip the file, let's change directory again. We go to the HTML directory by typing in cd slash var slash www slash HTML and hit enter. And now let's unzip the Nextcloud file. I will do this by typing in sudo unzip. That was in the temp directory, tmp slash latest.zip. And when you're ready, just hit enter. Clean up the terminal. If we list the files now, we'll see Nextcloud, it's there. The Nextcloud file is there. So the next step would be to change the ownership of the Nextcloud directory so that it belongs to the www-data user and group, which is a standard thing in Apache. So we'll do this by typing in sudo chown by change ownership dash r and the user is www-data and the group again www-data and Nextcloud, the directory. I will just hit enter. Now we need to modify the permissions also for this directory. So we'll do this by typing in sudo chmod dash r755 nextcloud and hit enter. Now let's create the database that we need to run nextcloud. So we'll do this by typing in sudo mysql dash u root dash p and hit enter and the root password. So we want to create the database. So we'll type in create database. I'm going to call it nextcloud and end the sentence here with the semicolon and hit enter. Now we are going to create the user for this database and give him full privileges. So we'll do this by typing in grant all on the database name nextcloud dot asterisk to single quotes the username in my case I'll take my name single quote again at single quote localhost single quote again identified by single quote and then you put in the password so I'll take here a very simple password just for the purpose of the demo Please don't copy this one, it's not a really safe password. Single quote again and semicolon to end the sentence and hit enter. Now let's flush the privileges by typing in flush privileges semicolon and enter. And then we're done, just type quit and enter. And I'll clean up the terminal. Now let's check again our IP address here. And as you can see, my IP address is here, 192.168.178.62. So one last thing before we test this, we'll have to restart Apache 2. So we'll type in sudo systemctl restart Apache 2 and hit enter. And now let's open up the browser. And let's put in the IP we just saw. So 192.168.178.62 slash nextcloud. And hit enter. And as you can see, nextcloud is alive. So we can continue the setup from here. So we create an admin account first. Well, in this case, I put in my name. And I create an admin password for nextcloud. So that would be just a password. The data folder. It's now temporary. We will change this after. 
but we'll let it for now here. Now, the database user is the one we created when we created the SQL database. So we'll type in here the database user is my name. The database password was the 12345. And the name of the database was Nextcloud. And then I'll just click Finish Setup. It's going to take a moment here to finish setup. And there you go. Here is the welcome screen of Nextcloud. So we'll just scroll through and start using Nextcloud. There you go. So Nextcloud is working fine. Now we need to move the Nextcloud data to the full data directory we created before. So let's do that. So I'll change the directory here and go to the Nextcloud and data directory. So I'll type in CD Nextcloud and hit enter. If I list the directories here, you'll see we have a data directory. So we want to copy the content from this data directory to the full data directory under the mount directory we created before. So we'll do this by typing in sudo copy dash a and we'll copy the var www html next cloud data slash and a dot. So everything inside here or we'll copy to the mount full data. And when you're ready, just hit enter. And there you go. Now we need to tell Nextcloud where to look for data. So we want to go into the config directory here. So I'll type in here CD and with the tab autocomplete and hit enter. Now, if I list the files here with LS, you will see we have a config.php and I need to edit this. So let's do this by typing in sudo nano config.php and hit enter. And as you can see here, we have a data directory. So we'll need to change this to the mount full data directory we created before. So I'll delete this here and I'll type in here slash mount slash full data. Now control O and enter to save the file and control X to exit the editor. Now I'll restart again Apache 2 by typing in sudo system control restart Apache 2 and hit enter. And there you go. So I'll go back again to Nextcloud here and reload the page. And now let's go shortly to the settings here and under system we have the full data directory with the full space available. All right, and that's it for this video. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to access this installation from outside your local network and how to install an SSL certificate to make your secure connection. That's all for this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to see more, make sure you like the video by clicking the like button below and subscribe to the channel if you want to be notified of future videos. And if there's anything specific you want me to cover, just let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you in the next one.